Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, we're gonna be discussing a bunch of top radio control brushless motors that's used for these high speed runs. So let's get right into it and start off with our first set of motors coming from a very popular company for top speed runs. First company is TP Motors. They make a bunch of different class of motors, as you can see on the side. They got the SVM series, the SCM series, and the CM series, as well as just their regular brushless motors. So my personal preference for top speed runs is going to be the CM series after uh, purchasing one myself, I think it is a great motor and we'll discuss a little bit about what I actually have as well as some of the other options. The one that I have in particular is the 4070 CM 2200 kV motor from TP Motors. And this one here can do six to eight cells of lithium polymer. Uh, this is a great combination for a high speed brushless motor. Now all the motors that we're talking about in this video can see at least 130 miles an hour up to about 150 miles an hour or even beyond that. Uh, so this is going to be a very high performing motor that has the capabilities of hitting over 150 miles per hour. Now one of the interesting things here is that this motor is a 6 to 8 S brushless motor. However, I would only specifically recommend this one if you're going to operate on an 8 S battery pack. If you're going to operate on different cell counts, you still can go with the 4070 brushless motor. You can still get the same proximate continuous and peak power output. And I'll even give you an example of why I would choose this specific motor for 8S versus another one such as the one here on the bottom for 6S. So if we go specifically into it, each one of them has their own specifications and this is the 2200 kV motor that says the maximum current is 264 amps and 34 volts. So if you take a look now, jumping over to the 6S specific motor, this has a higher KV, which is going to increase the amount of output RPM relative to this motor if you only ran it at 6S battery pack. 2200 KV times 22.2 volts is not going to be as high as the 2950 KV, so getting the RPM up helps. But the biggest thing here is when you're using a different wind, I don't know if this wind specifically makes sense, a higher KV should have a lower wind count. The max amps of this is 325 amps with a max volts that is lower. It's going to be lower because mechanically we can only spin that motor to a certain RPM and that would be exceeded by this specific brushless motor. So you have the 5000 watts continuous as well as the max power of 9000 watts for 10 seconds and it's going to be the same for this brushless motor as well. So definitely if you're running that 6S pack you want to go to the high higher KV motor to extract the full potential of the motor as the 2200 KV limited at 264 amps is going to be not allowing you to reach the full potential of this specific motor here. So just something to look out for when you're purchasing these motors. If we take a look at some of the other options, if you're going to go with a 4 to 5S pack, you got that 3200 KV motor. And if you're going with a 12S pack, you can get the RPM, the KV down to 1400 KV and then run 12 cells of lithium polymer battery pack. So that's a lot of potential for all these motors to really push a vehicle quite quickly. So now let's take a look at a brushless motor that you may not have actually seen before. This comes from New Motors. They have a bunch of different brushless motors that is specific to high performance top speed radio control car action. Now they have a chart that goes through the size of the motors and all the sizes that we're talking about today here of this specific brand is going to range from 107 and a half millimeters up to 130 millimeters. So this is going to be following more closely along the lines of our 47 TP series. If you're wondering what kind of brushless motor you can purchase to get the most amount of power out of that specific motor, my recommendation would be this specific series. Going with a 1539.75D, this has got a KV of about 2000 and it's suggested for 8 to 11S. And you also have this other option with a KV of 3000, good for 5 to 7S. So depending on what you plan to run, if you're planning to run a 6 
6S pack or 8S pack, these are the two motors that are going to be the highest performing. Now keep in mind, a motor that is 130 millimeters in length, you will have to check and make sure that you can physically actually get that in to your specific application. I wanna point this out too. So typically with a new motor, the first two digits represents the diameter and the next two digits represents the length. I'm not sure at this point why the larger lengths here are not actually contributing to a larger overall length. They're all set at 130 according to this chart for the 33 series, the 36 and 39. So let's take a look at how much power they're actually saying that these motors can produce. So we take a look at the 1539 and we're looking at that 0.5D that they had there. So this is saying the KV is about 3,000, and this is the total amount of current that is allowable on this uh, specific motor. 355 amps. Now I know when I race these motors that they do not perform to the specifications that you see here. They actually can go well above what these specs were telling me, at least back in around the 2007, 2008 time frame. So I know that was 15 years ago, but this is probably the reputation that new continues to offer out there on the market. And you can easily extract more power than these charts are actually telling you you can. And as speed run guys, we know this because we're only operating at this max current for a very, very short period of time. And then we're allowing that motor to rest and cool and get back to a comfortable temperature. And let's take a look at the other brand here that I have up on the screen. So we're gonna start with the Castle 2028. Now this is a specifically one fifth scale brushless motor. It's typically made for that class of radio controlled vehicles. However, in most applications, you can take this brushless motor and drop it into your typical one seventh scale on-road top speed run vehicle. So this one, big diameter, it doesn't have as long as a brushless motor case as the other motors that we've been talking about. However, it does have a low KV. So this is where things are very, very different for this specific motor. Because it has a low KV, that means the gear ratio that you actually run is going to have to be relatively low as well. So you can still keep up with the same RPMs out of the motor. This motor is gonna easily be able to get you up to 130 to 150 miles an hour. It's not gonna be a problem for this and it's gonna run very, very well. You can get this as a censored motor too, which is going to help on the acceleration right from zero miles an hour, which in my opinion is very well worth it. And if we continue along here, there's an even better motor for your specific application too, and that is the 1721 2400 kV motor. This motor has the potential to hit at least 150 miles an hour. If I scroll down, you can see there's guys running 180, 176, 147, 180. So there's tons of different examples out there that you can see this motor performs very well. Now my personal recommendation is if you are purchasing this motor, 8S is a very good spot for it. This motor is going to really perform well using a 6S or 8S pack. That's where you can really see the high output wattage that you can get and extract from this motor. Now keep in mind, you can still use this for a 4S application. You're not gonna hit the full potential of the motor, but maybe you don't need to. Maybe you're not looking to go 180 miles an hour and you'd be perfectly comfortable going 120 on 4S. This is totally possible with this specific brushless motor. Just a quick point here, you can see before purchasing, read all the disclaimers regarding warranty and product usage warnings about this specific item. And then you can see a bunch of bold letters used here. Now this is all done because this is a very high performance motor that can perform to an incredible capacity. And because of this, it can blow out a lot of electronics. And this is why you see all of these warnings. And this is true not just for this specific motor that we're talking about, but this is true for all of the motors that we're talking about, where their high performance nature can easily draw so much current from your speed control that it actually can destroy it as well as potentially the batteries that you're plugging into it. So keep that in mind when you're dealing with these high top 
outperforming brushless motors. Now my personal recommendation, since we're on this topic, if you're looking for a speed control, my recommendation would be the Mamba XLX2. Now I typically get this on the channel where guys are like, hey, you must be sponsored by all of these guys. Well, no, I do not have any sponsor. I simply use all of these products. I've had experience with all of them. This is the specific ESC that I've had a lot of good luck. I haven't run it on too many combinations of motors now, but this performs very well. And it has a very good ripple voltage suppressor built within it. So you don't always need to add in additional cat packs. You can measure to see how you're doing in terms of ripple voltage. And if things are starting to get out of hand, then you can add them. But right out of the box, this is a very good performing speed control that gives you all the bells and whistles, including even data logging of your run runs, which is what I specifically really enjoy. Well, there you go, guys. These are the brushless motors that I would recommend. They're probably the most popular and the most powerful that you can find on the market. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.